Caleb's story, chapter 5, part 1 of chapter 5. From an upstairs window, Cassie and I watched Sarah and Papa talking outside. I had never seen Papa so upset. Maybe once before, when he was afraid Sarah might not stay and marry him, but that had been a long time ago. Papa's mad, said Cassie. She leaned against me. Uh, no, Cassie, he's upset. He thought his father was dead. Why isn't he glad to see him? Cassie looked up at me. Where has grandfather been? I smiled at how natural the word grandfather was to Cassie. I shook my head. I don't know. Maybe he was lost, said Cassie. Maybe. That's what happened, said Cassie firmly. He was lost. We watched Sarah talking to Papa. Papa stood silent, not even looking at her. Will everything be all right? Cassie asked at last. She sounded so sad. Everything will be fine, I said. You'll see. I like Grandfather, Cassie said after a moment. Cassie left, and I knew that she was going downstairs to ask Grandfather more questions. I like Grandfather, too, I said out loud in the empty room. I do. Outside, Sarah reached out and put her arms around Papa, but after a moment, Papa walked off to the barn, leading Bess. Sarah stood still for a moment, then she pulled her coat around her and followed Papa into the barn. I could hear Cassie's voice down in the kitchen going on and on like the wind. Sometimes Grandfather would say something, his voice low, his sentences short. Slowly, I walked down the stairs and into the kitchen. I am almost four and a half years old, you know, said Cassie. You told me that, said Grandfather. I was born here. So was I, said Grandfather grumpily. And I was very little, said Cassie. I was little, said Grandfather. Cassie took a breath. I was very little, so little, said Cassie, that I had to sleep in a little box by the stove, and I ate every hour, and I cried, and I threw up. Grandfather grunted. You win, he said. It will be nice to know my grandfather, I said. Grandfather looked at me, his eyes so sharp and blue, he walked to the door and put on his coat. I'm not nice, he said. Don't go thinking that, Caleb. The kitchen door opened and Sarah came in. Why didn't you tell me who you were, she said to Grandfather. I didn't know if I would be welcome in your house, said Grandfather. You are Jacob's father, said Sarah. Of course you are welcome. Does Jacob welcome me, he asked. Sarah didn't answer. She walked to the stove to pour a cup of coffee. That's what I thought, said Grandfather. He put on his hat. Where are you going, asked Sarah. Taking a walk, said Grandfather. I'll go with you, said Sarah. No, said Grandfather. I know the farm. It was once mine, you know. I'll go, I said. I'd like to. Aren't you late for school, asked Sarah. There is no school, I said, remember? Then help Jacob with the chores, Caleb. What about me, asked Cassie. Grandfather peered at all of us for a moment. Then he turned and went out the door. Grandfather doesn't like us, said Cassie. No, he doesn't, I said. Sarah sighed and walked to the window to watch Grandfather walk down the road by the paddock fence. He doesn't know you, she said softly. He will like you. Does he like Papa, asked Cassie. Sarah didn't answer. Does Papa like him, asked Cassie. Sarah turned from the window. Have you brushed your hair, Cassie? Chores, Caleb, she said briskly. I knew there wouldn't be any more questions. Or answers.